Bonjour, mon petit pois, mon petit filou. Uh, welcome to my channel, Dorian from Hoover Luxure. Welcome, bienvenido, assalamu alaikum, welcome. Today, I am going to do a kind of like video vlog of uh, a journey that I'm going to make today. So, we are off to, first stop is to Hartlepool. Uh, now, I live in Lincolnshire. So, I'm going to drive all the way up to Hartlepool which is gonna take me, it says you're two hours and 22 minutes, but I don't know if that's true or not. Anyway, so that's my first stop. We're gonna go to Hartlepool to pick up a Hoover Junior high power compact. Um, and I'm armed with doggies. There's Millie and Zach and Gilligan. Gilligan, Gilligan, Gilligan. He's in a grump. Um, so I've set my mileage to zero and I'm still in, I'm near to home. I just had to call into the shop to pick up something. A bottle of um, zero, um, Dr. Pepper zero, because I do like Dr. Pepper. And um, we are going to head off now to Hartlepool. So once we get there, I'll continue the video, but uh, we will make the first leg of the journey together so you can see what it's like in the day of a, in the life of a vacuum collector. But I thought I'd share this with you because um, I do this quite a lot. I travel all around. I don't mind doing the traveling. Uh, I'm on my own because the other half is on his way to Cambridge for a conference for a few days. So it's just going to be me, myself and I. And um, let's crack on. So the next time, um, well, we'll be there in Hartlepool. So see you in a minute. Okay, peoples, I'm here. I've picked up the vacuum, which is just... There, it's very anxious, Millie and Zach. So I've just put in the sat nav now for my next trip to Birmingham, and I'm going to get there at uh, around about six o'clock. But I need to stop for a coffee. So it is 147 miles down so far, and it is almost. It's just 3 p.m. So there we go. So the next time you see me now, I'll be in Birmingham. Okay, so that is the last part, well, it's the second part of our journey, so we are in Birmingham, outside of Birmingham, and there we have, if you can see, uh, Canary Yellow Turbo Power 2, and the Junior Compact, and three little dogs, Gilligan, Zach, Millie, three little pigs. Uh, so we are now on 323.6 miles and it is now half a six. So if I set the sat nav, come on, to home. One hour, 37 minutes till I get Take home. Left. Take the road. Yes, I know. Um, so I will get home at... 12 minutes past 8 so it'll probably be dark by then but uh, yeah so that is the next part of our journey so let's go home and there we go it is now 8 30 p.m and i've just pulled in i've let the dogs out for a wee uh and i feel i refilled the tank but it was 411 miles 0.7 today and i left it was 12 30 when i got past Grantham and it is 8 30 so it's eight hours I've been on the road today for these two vacs but uh, it was it was really nice I really enjoyed it bit of countryside so a lot of things I wouldn't get to see normally and uh and now I'm home so let's go and have a look and see what we picked up today shall we okay so we're all in we're all settled we've all had a cup well I've had a cup of tea um, so let's have a look and see what I picked up today. So the first thing we're going to look at is this Hoover High Power Compact, compact, um, which is quite similar to the um, dirt searcher thing that I have. Anyway, so it has the kind of like what I would call the standard Hoover Junior base to it. Height adjustment control here. Screw underneath there to get access to the brush roll. 
Uh, you can't put the tools on this like you could with the older ones. You have to use the pan converter, which I don't have. I'm not really fussed on getting, to be honest. So this is a hard-bodied one rather than the bag. It's got an original cord, which is in excellent condition. And it's got an old, it's got a pl the plug attached to it, which I assume would be um, an original from when it was first purchased. Plastic outer body, plastic handle. That is the cord holder. So when you're vacuuming, that holds the cord there. On the back, we have a swivel cord hook at the top. The cord hook at the bottom, which I think would have been like a, a pull out one that has snapped off i think it would have been like that i'm not 100 percent sure but that is the only real damage to it so if i turn it forward we've got the two button control one press it down a little bit to release it push it down hard to switch it on bellows here it is very, the, you know, the base of it is exactly like a step bog standard Uber Junior, but it has this plastic body on it. So if I uh, lay it down flat, you can see it's got this longer type of bellows. There's no splits or anything in it. There is a rating sticker way down inside there. There we go, Hoover model U2128, U21280708008. watts, made in UK by Hoover Limited. It's a bit dirty, but there's nothing that uh, <clears throat> a wipe over won't fix with it. So if we flip it over for the money shot, we will see. There is a belt on it, a very loose belt. Nice that the underneath of it is in really good condition. That's the height uh, adjusting control there. It's, it's really, really good condition. It's a bit of dust. What I'll do is I will um, open this up and give it a dust, the brush roll does need some work doing to it. There's a little bit of rust to it, but uh, and the bumper needs to be fixed in properly. So there we go. That's the, it's just, it's in really good condition. Now, when I picked it up and I spoke to the lady who was selling it, she said, oh, but you've come such a far, a long way, because it took three hours. And I tried to explain to her that these Hoover Juniors were made of digestive biscuits. And um, especially after such a long time, I don't think it would have survived very well being um, transported. Bag door comes off on this one. Lovely chocolate brown with the lovely, just needs a polish. See, that's still in really good condition. High power compact. Here we have the inside of it. I'll tip it back. Again, that's all it needs is a wipeout. There's the bag. Oh, it doesn't have a bag, so I will go and get a bag um, so that we can um, have a go of it. And I'm just wondering. I th yeah, the bag, the bag fits on in there and then squishes up against it and then clicks underneath here. So I will do... I will go and get a bag and we will just give it a switch on. Okay, so I can't resist. I've got myself a belt and a screwdriver, and we're going to put a new a new belt on it. Um, I brought in two bags, but I don't think either of these is going to fit. The hole on it is bloody massive. Like 
looking to see if this will fit on. I'll get the bag done. Let's have a look at this. Let's lay it back. Let me move that other one out of the way. I'm just going to lay it back very quickly. Undo the screw underneath this. Well, you can't see. Undo the screw underneath here. That removes that, removes that, and the brush row. Sorry, and the um, belt. So now I got it flipped upside down. I need to unscrew these two, which I need to get a screwdriver for. Okay, got the screwdriver. These come off a lot easier than the other one. Okay, so undo these two screws. Bit more on this one. There we go. I'm gonna pull out the brush roll. It's full of mang, it's, it's quite manky, but it still is in good condition. So I'm just gonna quickly just squirt some WD-40. Got the new belt. So I put the new belt on it. Pop the brush roll back in. There we go. These um, bumper guard back in. There we go. I'm having difficulty with this stupid bloody um There you go fit in your bugger right Right, that's here. That is on. Flip it back over gently. Oh my god, how the bloody hell do you get the belt on? That's as tight as a. tight as me. 
Kırkızı vereceğim. Right, this is gonna be tough. So I'm gonna pop you on pause a second. Okay, so we got the belt on, which was a bloody feckle. Very quickly, I'm just going to run a damp cloth over the outside. Just to get the dust off it, because it's rather dusty. I will do a proper clean on it again. But just to make it a bit presentable. Hasn't been used for a number of years, the lady said. It belonged to her uncle, who passed away. I'll tell you what, I think I've got half of, I would say more than half of the vacuums I have belong to deceased relatives. And that is the truth. So if you're squeamish over that, I wouldn't recommend this hobby. It's a bit ghostly. Anyway, nothing's bad's come off it anyway, so. I do believe in that, but uh, I think ghosts have got a lot more better things to do than haunt vacuum cleaners, don't you agree? Right, so very, very quick, brief wipe over. Lovely 19, well, I think this is, this is definitely 80s, maybe 1980s, but it's still got the remnants of the 70s with lovely chocolate brown and it reminds me of an Austin Allegro. I had, an, I, my, my, I had a, a great aunt who owned a Austin Allegro Van Den Pla from New Automatic. And actually, it was the last time I stayed there, and that was a number of years ago. And the car was garage, kept in the garage. It was in mint condition. I mean, like, mint condition. It had only done like 16,000 miles, if that, since it, since it was bought brand new in the 70s. She really did look after it. Right, so let me get a bag in here and then get the door right, shut. We've got a bag in it. We've given it a wipe over. Let's switch it on. Let's have a look. Oops. Switch it on behind here. I don't know if it's going to switch on. Okay, it did switch on. Okay. need some oiling basically but it runs well it does need a bit of a an oiling but it's in very good condition I'm very very pleased to have this as part of the collection especially with this little mini junior series thing I'm doing so I'm very pleased with that so what we'll do now is move on to the next one
Next we have this Canary Yellow Hoover Hoover, Hoover Turbo Power 2 900 watt basic model but I absolutely love the colour of it. It's so Canary Yellow. Um, when I was at Rob and Paul's uh, on Monday I noticed there was one of these in the shed. And I was like, oh my God, that is so cool. I love the color of it. And as fate have it, there was one for sale on eBay, but it was in Birmingham. So that was my second visit today was to Birmingham to pick up this, this Hoover Tuber Power 2. Um, it's got, yeah, it's still got the badge of Madge on there. Merthyr Tidville. So these were still British made. Undo this. Bag door. It's in pretty good condition. It doesn't. It needs a bit of a clean up, but it's not in bad condition. That's a genuine uh, H18 bag, which matches it in canary yellow. Um, throwaway type. It's been stapled at the bottom, so I assume it's been used a couple of times. Uh, yeah, it's a double filter filtration bag. But... I have one of these um, HEPA flow ones for the demonstration. Sponge in the bottom, almost to the point of um, disintegration, so I'll have to be very careful with that if if I can do anything with it. But it's not in too bad a condition. So there we have the bag. I'll put this one in. Hang on, I have to put you down, I can't do this one-handed. There we go. That's now got a fleecy bag in it. Pretty much bog standard, height adjustment, no air freshener, no gubbins at all, just an on off switch, no roundel, but that will have a roundel on it very soon. Um, the only tool was missing was the brush, dusting brush, but it has its crevice tool and the long scabbard tool, the hose and that one, so that's not a problem. I'll, I'll get hold of a um, dusting brush. Might not get one in grey, it'll probably be black, but I'm not that fussed to be honest. Uh, okay, cord release there, nice and simple. Hose fits down in here. It's been well looked after, the guy said. Um, again, from a deceased person. Um, so he, apparently he did look after it when he had it. Very, very basic model of Turbo Power 2. Let me just recline the handle. There we go, recline it down. Here's the exhaust filter in there. I'm not going to do in depth on this. Uh, now, rating sticker on this is on the back. One of the days of metal plated ones. So here we go. Hoover model U2090. Serial number U2090 9718005A2. I'm sure Steve or somebody will uh, date that for me. Uh, 900 watts max. No uh, support thing on that or anything. Right, let me just stop this a second and turn it upside down. It's a bit dusty underneath, but uh, it does need a brush roll for which I am going to put one in. This is completely clogged. I mean completely clogged from here from to breakfast, as the saying goes. So I will get rid of the gunk in there and we will open it up and we'll put a new belt on. So guess a minute. Okay, so here we have my poor Felix. Who's going to have to deal with this?
Well, I have to say that was the most toughest blocked one I've come across so far. That was wedged of dirt. No wonder it wasn't working. Um, right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to open this up, the base plate. And that's well, <laughs> um, mm, something tells me that that was chock-a-block full of crap. So let me switch it on again and see get, get rid of this. <laughs> Okay, so, as you can see, it's not in bad condition. It was just absolutely full of crap. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pick off the bits at the end of the brush roll and I'm going to give the base plate um, a little bit of a dust over as well. So we've cleared the crud out of it. I've cleaned the brush roll up a bit. I put the new belt on there. And I sprayed a little bit of WD-40s inside the bearings of these. And now that will work very well. So I'm just going to put the base back on and the inspection plate. And I'm going to check to see if that is blocked or if the hose is blocked. Okay, so I've checked down in there and there seems to be no blockage. I've checked the hose by putting the end of that on there and there was suction coming through it. So I know that... Uh, the hose isn't blocked on it. I will do a proper clean up on this, but I just wanted to give it just a little bit of a wipe over. It's in very good condition. It is really, really, really in good condition. It's probably got blocked a long time ago. And it was just kind of like, oh, that's it. It's blocked. It's buggered. It's it. Check it. So. Let me put this. Back on. Right, so there we go. Let me put the SIBO away and then we'll give this a Right, test. so what was supposed to be a quick first look has turned into a mini service. But anyway, I couldn't do a first look if it was not able to use it. Right. Okay. Let's see if that sounds better.
<laughs> Sounds a bit what you call on the um, brush roll, but uh, in, in, all in all, to be honest, that sounds really good. I'm really pleased with that. That will definitely just needs a, a bit of spit and polish, and that's about it, really, to do with that. But I'm glad I got the yellow one. I thought it was uh, quite a funky colour. I quite like the bright colours. So yeah, there we go. That is that. And that is today's show and tell. Got fidgeting dogs now. Right, sit down Gilligan, you can't park your ass on the bloody arm of the chair. Right, so anyway, enough of the dogs, back to the vac. So here we are with these two that I collected today. Uh, really, really pleased with the Hoover Junior High Power Compact. And uh, exceptionally pleased with this Turbo Power 2. Just needed a, that slight bit of a clean up so I could switch it on and use it. But uh, it's in really good condition. So yes, so that was it. That was my journey halfway around the UK today. My uh, eight hour journey to go and pick up these two. I saw some interesting things. I saw places I'd probably never see again. Not to excuse, I got a bit of a sweaty Betty on. Um, yeah, no, I really enjoyed it. So that's what I basically do when I'm just faffing around looking for these vacs. But uh, Sam is working on my other Hoover Junior at the moment. So I'm going to wait for that to come back. I'm in no rush. I've got some other bits and bobs to do some Kirby's. But it's just kind of like that's what I, you know, that's what we both do. Sometimes we go on a bit of a trek. I didn't pay much for the vacuums at all. And three quarters of a tank of fuel. And uh, we saw some uh, places we wouldn't have seen otherwise. So I hope you enjoyed this today. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe down below. Um, almost at 200 subscribers, which is just beyond. I can't believe it. It's incredible. Thank you guys so much. And uh, thanks for all your support and um, humouring me in this little um, hobby that I do. So I will see you all again very soon. Have a nice evening. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.